and body of evidence, a new study finds a surprising amount of pollution in people. Should we worry? From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. Scientists have been studying chemical contamination in our air, land, and water for a long time, but now some are beginning to ask questions about the contamination in our bodies from products that we use every day. NBC's Robert Hager tonight on a new study, a small start, that is raising big questions. When scientists sampled Andrea Martin's blood and urine to see what toxins she'd picked up from the world around her, she got a surprise. I had 95 chemical contaminants in my little body, and it was very mind-blowing. Martin and eight others were tested by Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York and an advocacy organization called the Environmental Working Group. On average, the nine had traces of 53 chemicals known to cause cancer in human or animal tests, 62 toxic to the brain or nervous system, and 55 associated with birth defects. They didn't find any single substance in amounts the government labels unhealthy, but said the sheer number and uncertainty about trace amounts was unnerving. Irrefutable proof that humans carry in their bodies scores of industrial contaminants, most of which didn't exist 75 years ago. Scientists have found phylates that cause birth defects in animals in items like makeup, hairspray, and food wraps. Other chemicals target the nervous system, Synthetic fragrances in perfume and soap, acetone in nail polish removers, poisons in weed killers and bug sprays, and perchloroethylene in dry cleaners. In paint, there's organ-damaging xylene. But for those intent on avoiding even traces of toxic chemicals, the study's authors suggest eating organic produce, minimizing fatty foods, chemicals concentrated in fat, minimizing use of beauty products, avoiding stain removers, and seafood known to be high in mercury like canned tuna. Maybe more caution than many care to take, but the scientists say it is amazing how much gets in our bodies. Robert Hager, NBC News, Washington.